hello my beautiful friends so today's video i wanted to show you how i get my super beachy but like boho tight little curls um this is not something i do a lot because it is very hard on your hair using this much heat and i end up using two different heating tools which i know is going to make some people super cringe but um i first go in with this big barrel everyone's seen these waivers i've had this one for years i don't necessarily recommend or not recommend it it's super inexpensive it's from revlon um but there's definitely better beach waivers out there oh my goodness you scared me <laughs> So I like to go in and just start with a base where I get, sorry about the lighting, it's really, really sunny today. So I go in with an all over, kind of just get a wave going, and then I'll look at it and just see what it needs. And then I go in with my tight little chopstick curler. I don't love this all over my hair, um, mostly because I can't get the ends too good. And I don't love the way this looks, but I've noticed these in combination, although they are very bad for your hair, I love the way they look. And they, my husband loves this hairstyle, absolutely loves it. I would love to be able to do it more often, but again, it's so, so damaging. So I ended up cutting off about four inches of hair. My hair was like at my waist, but I knew it was time to take some length off and I hadn't cut my hair in a very long time. I do it myself because I just don't trust anybody and my hair is already kind of damaged as it is. So I try to just dust it myself and I took off quite a bit of length this time, about four to five inches. I'm just looking for, um, and I thought I would just share this hairstyle because I love it. So I will pop up a picture when I was talking earlier so you kind of know what I'm talking about. Again, I don't do this often because it is quite damaging. And this thing will kind of make your hair smell burnt. It's an older tool. I'm definitely going to invest in one of the newer waivers. So if you're interested in seeing how I get these waves, definitely keep on watching. So I because I do have so, so much hair, I do separate it. I don't do a lot of separating, but I do separate it some. I do use the Sun Bum um, heat protectant. It is very oily, so I use it sparingly. So I'm just going to brush out my hair and start crimping it. I'm not going to like show you every little thing. I'm just going to show you kind of like how to start it and then this is where like the magic happens and the curls really get defined and beautiful. Um, you definitely could do each on their own. I just think in combination, they look really good together. No barking, please. So I shut the curtain a little bit to kind of help with the lighting. It's just so, so bright today and sunny and we still have snow. So it's just reflecting really, really bad off the ground and everything is super sunny. It doesn't matter where I sit in here. We have a lot of windows in my bedroom. Um, we have two big windows here, a big window here. So it's like inescapable. <clears throat> so I just wanted to show you, I take about, I don't know, an inch and a half, two inches of pretty thick hair because I do this like haphazardly. Now I do this side facing up and then I'll do it the opposite direction that way. And I just hit it really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Basic. Everyone kind of knows how to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's more or less when I go in with this smaller one that really, <clears throat> excuse me, makes my hair look really beachy and wavy and gives it that definition. I just happened to do it one day. I hadn't used this in years, so I just pulled it out to see what it looked like one day and my hair was dirty <clears throat> and it was like, I hadn't styled it that week. And see, you just get this really pretty like, like crimp that looks like you had your hair braided the whole week. So, well, for a couple days. So I just take different sizes. It really doesn't matter because it's all kind of underneath. I don't hold it too, too long because I'm going to go in again with another curler. And like I said, just one day I started to see if I liked it this way. And it's one of my favorite hairstyles. It never, ever turns out the same. I washed my hair last night. So of course I'm going to like hate my hair today. I always hate it the first day um, out of the shower and curled. It's always like second, third day curls that look so much prettier. 
Um, you can get as close to the root as you want for a little more volume, but this thing is very, very hot and will burn you if you aren't careful. Um, I'm not like a huge hair person. I don't like necessarily do anything really fancy. Typically, I just curl it and call it good. I used to love my hair straight when I was younger, but I don't love the straight look on me. I feel like it looks very flat and unflattering. Um, so I typically try to just curl it and it lasts so, so long curled. My hair really holds a curl well, which I'm very fortunate, but yeah, I'm not like a huge style. Like it's either going to be, um, curled and down and I'll wear it like that for four or five days and then I'll put it up in like a bun to kind of preserve it for a day or two more. Um, I try not to wash my hair too, too much. I'm going to say every like four to five days. And then I'll do two washes and I'll condition it really, really good and let the conditioner sit the whole time I'm showering. And then I rinse it and I brush it with always that big wide tooth comb. And then I let it air dry. I don't ever blow it dry usually. As you can see, it just looks really natural and pretty and like you wore your hair in a braid. And then I'll just crimp right here because it's just sitting here driving me nuts. Yeah. And then this is what I'm going to do all over my head. I don't want to bore you to death because it's probably going to take me about 20 minutes to do this. When I'm doing regular barrel curls, I am done in less than um, 15 minutes. It takes me so, so, so fast. So I'm going to do this all over. Nothing different on the top. I'm going to part it and just do it. And then I will be back to show you what I do with my chopstick curler. Um, I love this thing. But like I said, I always find my hair to look a little funny when I do it all over, especially because of the length. When my hair was shorter, I didn't mind so much. So I won't bore you anymore. And we will be right back with the results. Okay, my sweet friend. So this is just the results of that big three barrel waver. You most certainly could leave it like this. Most people would love this. You could flip it over. Um, definitely could do a middle part. The middle part is just not um, flattering on me. I feel like I look a little funny in a middle part, but that would be the middle part. Um, mostly I like to part my hair like this. Um, I also suffer from stress related alopecia so i get like 50 cent like quarter to 50 cent piece bald spots um i'll just wake up and that's where it will be my thyroid's been checked and they have said it's stress related alopecia and i get little bald spots so i do have one on the top of my head right now so i just have to kind of part my hair certain ways in order to not be able to see it um, I've been dealing with it since I was very, very young. I've had my thyroid checked so many times. I almost rather it be that so they could use medication, but what can you do? So this is what it looks like. I crimp it all the way to the bottom. As you can see, I took quite a bit of hair off. Well, I guess you wouldn't know unless you saw my hair before, but this is what it looks like. It's super duper beautiful like this. Like I said, you could 100% leave it like this, but I like to go in with this little chopstick, I keep it on the lowest setting and then I just go through and like I'll just randomly pick up pieces and recurl it. Now I didn't expect my hair to look quite this pretty with just the little barrel, with the three barrel waver. Um, usually it doesn't turn out quite as nice, but like here I'll just go in super loose and just define the curls a little bit. I don't even hold it on there that long but you'll see it gives it like a little more of a natural curl and this way I can go in and curl it in different directions as well that way they don't clump together um and it just looks a little more natural um I will link one of these smaller curlers down below I don't want really recommend this one because I don't necessarily recommend this one because it is a European adapter and I had to go get an adapter for it, but you can find these pretty much anywhere. I'm just gonna take, let me pull my camera up just a little bit. I'm gonna just take some random pieces and just go through and fix where I don't love it. But like I said, it's loose. They're not, I don't want them super defined. I want it kind of random. See how it just gives it a little more oomph there. And then I'll just pull I just look around and see, 
just checking on my damn dogs because they don't sit still. Like I said, I don't want it to be perfect. Plus, I already put so much heat already on my hair. So I just take kind of random pieces like that one's a little tight. So I'll pull that one out kind of and just find like pieces, especially like my sideburns. I'll go in and do just so they're more defined. And this hairstyle will last me a, quite a while because they are such tighter curls. Oh, that one did not. There we go. Perfect. But like I said, I will find one of these down below for you. And I just love the way it looks with that little bit of blonde, like really light blonde in my hair. I just think it looks super duper summery. And I'm a big summer person and seasonal depression has been quite a thing this year with getting sick right at the holidays. Um, usually I can kind of tough it out through the winter, but this year has been pretty tough. I haven't really been feeling this uh, winter. I've definitely had a little bit of seasonal depression this year. So I like to kind of feel beachy whenever I can. But as you can see, it just like defines it a little bit more. Now I know there's a lot of people that are screaming because they loved the wavy hair look. I know that's so in and I love it as well. But this way when the curls fall, they just blend and it will just look more natural i should say um like you see it just gives it a different look i don't know how to explain it it's just so beautiful so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna sit here and kind of wrap a few pieces and then i will be back to show you i don't want to bore you to death i don't like i don't do anything i don't pin anything up it's just super duper random so it's kind of hard to like explain it other than just look at your hair look at pieces that you don't love and then wrap it around to give it a more um, beachy wave. I just think this look is so gorgeous. So I will be back to kind of wrap it up and show the end results for you guys. I think this is like a fourth of an inch. This is really tiny and these are really popular. Both of these tools are, and I will link both for you down below. So I will be back in no time to just show you the end results. Um, I definitely could leave it like this. I don't use hairspray on it, nothing. My hair, like I said, kind of holds a curl pretty well. So I don't have to use a lot of products just the heat protectant, but I will be back. This is very hippie, like boho look. So it's really up my alley and I love it. So I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, so this is the end result. As you can see, it looks much more defined. Um, still very like boho and beachy. You definitely could part this any way you like. This is just like I said, how I prefer to part it. And I just, like I said, went around, took a few random pieces. I did most of them. This only took maybe 10 minutes with this particular one. And then obviously it's going to depend on the amount of hair you have and how, you know, skilled you are and how quick you want it or more, or if you want it more defined, if you want it more messy. But like right here is a little piece. Like I said, all I did was wrap quickly on a low setting and then I release it immediately. It's a little tight, so I'll give it a little pull and then just kind of, you know, let it fall. It looks much more put together, but still very effortless and almost could pass as like natural curls. Um, often when I wear this hairstyle, people will be like, is that your natural hair? And of course, you know, I would love to say yes, but it isn't. So in order to maintain this throughout the week, I'll just take any type of hair oil that I have and whenever I see any type of frizzies, I just go in and kind of kind of like oil it up and judge them, judge them out the frizz. Um, this does look a little frizzy sometimes, but I don't mind that look. It looks a little more lived in and worn in. Um, and then I'll obviously go in with dry shampoo, tease the top if I needed to, if it falls a little flat. I usually don't have trouble with this hairstyle looking flat. I think it just looks super amazing and beautiful. I'm sorry I didn't like film the whole thing. I just didn't want to bore you to death with me just c continuously to curl. Um... I don't curl them in any specific direction with this one. Like when I do my real curls with my like uh, 32 millimeter barrel, I always curl away from my face. I hate the back and forth look on me. It just never looks right. I don't mind them in particular clumping together, but this style is more effortless and like you just came off of an island and you have sea salt in your hair and it just, 
it kind of looks just like messy and beautiful and this is a great hairstyle so i'll wear this for a couple of days and it just gets better it looks cute in a ponytail half up it even looks beautiful in a bun because you have all that volume from the curls so this is my hairstyle for this week so if you have any questions, feel free to definitely leave them down below. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to stick around and subscribe, I would love to have you. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Like I said, any comments, concerns, definitely leave it down below. If you have any requests for anything, um, maybe showing you a couple more hairstyles. Maybe I'll show you what I do with this in a couple of days. Definitely leave it down below. And I'll see all of my beautiful friends in the next video. Bye, guys.